scorching desert heat, the record-setting string of 31 consecutive days above 110 degrees in Phoenix, Arizona, is part of an unrelenting series of summer heat waves baking the United States and other parts of the world this summer. July 2023 is confirmed to be the Earth's warmest month on record by a large margin. With the record-breaking global heat and extreme downpours and flooding, it's hard to ignore that something unusual is going on. This summer, June and July, uh, these months have been the warmest months uh, ever by a lot. Uh, and so uh, we really seem to be on a record-shattering trajectory. It's likely that 2023 will break records as the warmest year ever. Michael Y. Session is a professor of Earth, Environmental, and Planetary Sciences at Washington University in St. Louis. He's closely observing the summer of 2023 and says he expects unusually high temperatures to continue through at least 2025, which means even more extreme weather in the near future. Why Session expects the heat domes will get stronger and grow in size. With the increase in greenhouse gases, this is our future. This is it. Things will just get worse. This is the rest of your life. This is the rest of my kid's life. Almost always, each year will be worse than the one before. And 2026 might be a little bit less, but it will still be much more than 2020. Why now? First, why Session explains humans have increased the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere by 50 percent, primarily through combustion of fossil fuels in vehicles and power plants. By increasing at 50 percent, we have significantly jolted our entire planetary climate system. And there are contributing natural factors, making matters more of a hot mess. They've all combined to be a positive increase to the global temperature. First, El Nino, which has a storyline that's still unfolding. There's a 90% chance of there being a full-blown El Nino. It will take a year or so to see this borne out. During a time of an El Nino, the water kind of backs up in the western part and starts to flow back again. Uh, this warm water at the equator, and usually warm water, um, transfers heat to the atmosphere and warms the earth. And the plot thickens with solar fluctuations. We are getting a boost in our temperature globally from this increase in solar energy. So the solar cycle has an 11-year cycle. The timing is pretty set, and the current solar output is increasing, and the sun's output will peak in the year 2025. To boost, a most unusual twist the largest volcanic eruption of the 21st century so far. It turns out that this large eruption in Tonga, the Hunga Tonga Hunga eruption occurred underwater. It vaporized a vast amount of seawater and put a huge amount of water vapor up into the atmosphere. And water vapor is a very powerful greenhouse gas. It will add warming to our atmosphere for probably at least the next five years or so. And so it's just one more factor that has tipped the scales in record-breaking territories. He says the best way to help would be an immediate and drastic shift away from fossil fuels. We really have to change at an international level now quickly to avoid some of these catastrophes, which are already happening. It's important to keep a sense of hope throughout this.